All right, so let's start work on MP1. So for the next few checkpoints, what we're gonna do is every time you start a checkpoint, you're gonna go through a similar process, which is we're gonna give you some test suites. Those test suites represent what you need to do to complete the next checkpoint. Um, so you're gonna have to download those test suites from the website and put them in a specific spot in your project and then you're also going to have to make a small adjustment to one of the existing project files to set it up for the new checkpoint. Um, in the future checkpoints, you also have to do some additional work because once you add our test suites, your project actually will stop compiling. There'll be some things you need to fix. But for MP1, we shouldn't have to do that. So let's see how we go. Um, I'm on the main project uh, page, write-up page, and I'm going to uh, download the test suite. So this is gonna download a, a Java file onto my computer. Um, I need to put that file into this directory. And then, you know, depending on whether or not you're on Windows or Mac or whatever, uh, you might have a variety of different ways of, of doing this. Um, so let me try to open this. So that's probably not what I wanted to have to do. Nope, okay, quit. Um, it's gonna take a second, okay. I, I would usually do this in a slightly different way, but I'm trying to, to ham it up a little bit, okay. Um, so let's go here, I'm gonna copy and then let's see if this works. If I can just paste, uh, yeah, will this work? Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. Um, okay, now, this is important. Some of you may miss this step, and if you do, it's okay. We're using a version control system called Git to track the changes that you make to your files as you work on the MP. One of the things the Git needs to know is when you add a file, Git needs you to tell it whether or not you should track the changes to that file or not. We want the answer to be yes, um, okay? Now, some of you may have already hit cancel or something as you were afraid of the dialogue or something like that, and if you did, there's a way to fix that. We can you know, tell you how to do that in office hours or on the forum or on the help site or whatever. Um, but right now, we have the chance to add it, and so I'm gonna say yes, I'm gonna add this to our project. Okay, um, and I guess I'm gonna hit okay, uh, okay. So, and if you look in here, now I have access to the code for the MP1 tests, okay? And I can run these, so why don't we start by just running these. I'm gonna run MP1 test. Now, I'm also gonna show you how to add this up here. So you'll see that in this run configurations, this is what this is called in Android, uh, we have a test MP0, and then we also have this MP1 test. And, you know, we're done with MP0 at this point, so that one we can put away, um, but the MP1 test is something that we're gonna be running you know, a few times as we go forward, uh, you'll see that all the tests fail, which is good because you haven't finished this particular checkpoint yet. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here into the checkpoints. I'm gonna rename this. I'm gonna call it test MP1. And then I'm also gonna hit the store as project file and hit done. Um, that will mean that even if I cloned this repository on a different machine, I would still have access to this particular run configuration um, that allows me to run t uh, the MP1 tests. Okay, so we're good. Now, however, one of the things that you're gonna notice here is that if you go back here and hit grade, it's still grading MP0. And so there's one additional step we need to take in order to tell Android Studio, sorry, to tell the grading plugin that we use for Android Studio that we now want to grade the first checkpoint and not checkpoint zero, okay? So this is running and it's gonna do its thing and it's gonna run the tests for MP0. Um, and I'm just doing this to kind of show you what might happen before you make the small adjustment. And I will go and make that change in a minute. Now, it's important that you make this change and check it in because when you submit your work, we use the same information to figure out which checkpoint you want to grade. So you'll see that I finished the MP0 checkpoint, but it's still grading MP0. Okay, so what I need to do is you come over here. Now I'm in the project view. Some of you uh, may not be in the project view. Um, uh, so we'll go over here, I see project. Some of you may be in a different view. So go to the project view and there's this file called grade.yaml. I'm gonna open this up and it says that I'm working on checkpoint zero. I'm gonna change that to work on checkpoint one. And as it says, after you do this, you wanna to go to file and sync project with Gradle files. That'll take a minute, just make sure everything is, is you know, properly organized. Okay, so again, we're gonna, we're gonna wait. Okay, we're good. Now I'm gonna hit grade again. And now the grader is running the test suites for MP1 rather than for MP0. And the score that we see when we're finished is gonna reflect the fact 
that we haven't started work on MP1. We might get points for check style at this point. We might get those 10 points for check style. Um, Maybe not. I think we will because I don't think there are any check style violations in the project right now. Um, but we're definitely not going to get any of the points for the tests that need to pass because we haven't done the work required to, to get to that point. All right, so um, let's see. This works, this works. Uh, there were some problems. And if I go down here to app grade, it looks like I got those 10 points for check style, but no other points. And that's what I expected at this point because I haven't started work. Okay, before you go any further, However, uh, you do see that your uh, score increased, and so you do need to commit your work. And this is a good point to do that uh, anyway. I have the MP1 uh, test suites that I added to my project. I have this grade.yaml file that I modified, um, and I want to make sure that, that those changes are propagated. So I'm going to do my usual commit dialog. I will uh, go over here, hit commit. Uh, I'm going to say starting MP1. I'm going to review the changes so you'll see that um, it looks like I'm not sure why I made a change. I think this is a formatting change. Uh, there's a trade degrade.yaml, and I'm now using the first checkpoint. I added this run configuration that allows me to test it. Uh, you saw me do that a minute ago. And I added this whole file containing the MP1 test suites. Okay. Now, this time I'm going to go down here, hit the um, little spinner, hit, hit commit and push, so that I'm going to both commit the changes that I made to the project and also open the push dialog so I can push them to GitHub, which will cause the grader to run and cause me to get those 10 points on the first MP on MP1. Okay, so at this point, once you finish these steps, you are ready to go and actually get down to work on MP1, writing the code that you'll need to write in order to uh, get your points in and get the app to start to work. So the next thing we'll do is we'll talk about uh, how the app works and some of the important files you need to understand uh, that gets used when it starts up.